Hey guys, it's Phil from Fit Empire and Wellness. I thought I'd do a quick video because we're getting heaps of interest um, about this product right here. It's ATP Science's Gut Right product. Now I know this product has been going crazy across Townsville, um, both here and other locations as well. I think the, the, the first batch we had in the store sold out in two hours. Um, the second batch we've had for less than a day and it's already going uh, ballistic as well. Now, once again, really pumped there's been a lot of interest in this product. I will point out though, that there's probably a little bit misunderstanding about the product and how it's supposed to work and how people are supposed to use it. Um, it, it, it is quite an in-depth product when you think about it and when you, when you understand exactly how it works and what you're supposed to do with it. And I'm not certain there is enough explanation going on um, when I, when I talk to customers, or whether they bought it from us or, or from other places, they're understanding the product isn't quite there. So I thought I'd do a quick video, guys, to make sure that everyone's across the product exactly how to use it. Um, well, first of all, we'll start with what is the product. So HP Science's Gut Right is basically a combination of polyphenols, uh, polysaccharides, and things called glucans. And they will actually help to modulate and, and correct the gut bacteria, okay? So I'm sure a lot of you out there have heard of the term probiotic. So a probiotic is, is something that actually introduces new bacteria into the gut. Um, it helps to increase the, the amount of bacteria in the stomach. A good example of that, I'm sure we all know, is on TV, um, something like the Health Plus. Uh, I won't mention the full name. Um, then there's a prebiotic, and a prebiotic is like, um, would be it prepares the gut or, or, or feeds the gut flora that exists. So think of it like fertilizer, I suppose you would say. Um, what this product is, is, is they're terming it, and I like the term actually, it's a mod biotic. And, and a mod biotic is exactly how the name suggests. It modulates and modifies the current uh, ratio of bacteria in the gut. So where the product stands in its own two feet, I suppose you would say what this product is, it contains a whole host of natural and organic ingredients, as I said before, polyphenols. Um, a lot of them are part of what's called the isothenolates um, family, and that is a part of what's called glucoraphanins and myrosinases, uh, which is a bigger part of, they combine to create a, a, a substance, an isothenolate called sulforaphane, and sulforaphane actually helps to protect the gut. It also has a much larger systemic uh, application in lowering uh, insulin resistance, uh, increasing neurological function, helping things like depression, anxiety, all those things have been studied when it comes to sulforaphane with really, really positive results. But what this product is actually designed to do is kill off a, so how do I put this? So your, your body contains um, a very, very large portion of the, what's called the biomass, which is the, the natural weight, I suppose, in the gut of two types of, of families of bacteria. One's called bacteria dietes, and the other one's called firmicutes. And the bacteria dietes are typically the bacteria that, I say typically, it's not all of them, but typically the bacteria that feed on fats and proteins and, and the foods you want to actually um, eat more of to reduce things like inflammation, gut irritability, things like that. Firmicutes, uh, unfortunately, are the ones that typically feed on processed sugars, or, or I shouldn't say processed sugars, high sugar intake, and that actually um, is what we call pro-inflammatory, so it actually amplifies inflammation in the body as well. Um, they've done a lot of research on this, and they found that, uh, for those of you who aren't aware, a fecal, a fecal transplant is when they take the waste product out of one creature um, and put it into another creature and see what the results are. Okay, they did it with mice. Um, I know ATP is used as an example as well, but this example has been used for, for 10, 10 years or more, um, where they take the microbiome from, from one mouse and they put it into another mouse with the same diet, same activity level, and actually the other mouse that received the bad bacteria from the first mouse actually got fat. Um, due to, due to the, the, the microbiome or the microbiota, I should say, in the gut, okay? So what, what that is telling us is it's much more of a ball game than just calories in versus calories out. Yes, the law of thermodynamics is still a major factor in losing weight, but it's not the only factor in losing weight. So we have to be very, very aware of that as well. So what they're saying and what the science is saying is that these firmicutes actually have a very, very strong link to metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, and we all know the danger of insulin resistance in the sense that the body can't process sugar um, adequately, therefore it becomes high blood glucose levels, and therefore can actually is promoted to be stored as adipose tissue or body fat. So what we're trying to do with this product, or what ATP is trying to do with this product, I should say, is actually trying to modify your gut flora um, and your gut microbiota 
to bring it back to a nice healthy balance between um, a suppression of firmicutes, the bad, bac the bad bacteria family, and an increase in what's called bacteria dietes, which is the good bacteria. Now, how to use the product. This is where I think a lot, a lot, a lot is getting lost in translation. We've had a lot of people come to us uh, in store and also via Facebook um, and Messenger and, and whatnot and saying, oh, I'll take the product and I'll do one scoop a day and, and my, my, my world is open and you know the heavens open, rainbows out and I'll be fine. Well guys, that's not how it's supposed to happen, okay? People like myself and I know James over at ANC as well have been doing a, a protocol called a weed and feed for many years and um, that is probably gonna be the best way to explain it, we have to weed out and do a mass dump of, of all the bad bacteria and then restore and grow, or not grow, but reintroduce the good bacteria, okay? So to do that, we use a very, very intensive process. Um, this product has recommended a 10-day window where you take a scoop three times a day along with what's called an SCD. An SCD is a standard carbohydrate diet. It's been around for many, many years. It basically it excludes any complex carbohydrates out of the diet and basically it, it, it restricts you to, well, more or less, to be honest, uh, fibrous veg and fruits um, and also limits things like, um, like canola oil and stuff like that, which to be honest, none of you should be using anyway, given the fact that you're actually health focused. Uh, with nuts, uh, you can eat most of the nuts. I personally don't like, don't like using macadamia nuts. I think the oil content of macadamia nuts are a little bit out. Um, but most nuts you can utilize as well, along with all your lean meat and things like that also. So guys, you do have to be on that diet. If you don't, if you don't follow a diet along those lines, you're going to get, uh, think of it like you're trying to pull the weeds out of the garden while someone else is throwing new seeds for those weeds back in the garden from the other direction. It doesn't make any sense. They're counteracting each other. Um, you also have to avoid during that 10 day window, things like yogurts, things like soys, fermented foods, kefirs, um, kombucha, uh, kimchi, those sort of things, even bone broth for that matter. So it is a really important thing that you can't, you can't, you can't challenge the thing you're trying to achieve. It's, it'd be like swimming with a tethered rope attached to the side of the, the, side of the pool in your waist. It's, it's pointless, okay? So when you take this product, you do a very intensive period of 10, of 10 days, um, and then after that, as a maintenance, keep the balance in the gut, um, uh, I suppose happy is the word that I'll use, you then do one scoop in the morning. Now, you can do this product, I mean, a lot of people are doing it with water and they, they are talking about the taste of it. You can do this product with juice, because juice is a simple sugar, um, or even honey for that matter, because it's a fructose base, 77% fructose. Um, but personally, I, I personally, for caloric intake alone, would just choose the water, block the nose, get it down. It's not there for taste, it's there for your health. Now, what can you expect from this product? Well, the truth is the, the, the world is your oyster when it comes to those answers, because everyone has a different flora, um, ratio, everyone's gonna have different issues, everyone has a different background with diet, different activity levels, different stresses on the body, all that sort of stuff. But you can typically you can typically imagine you're going to get awkward squeaks and burps and bumps uh, in the first couple of days, maybe up to three or four days. Um, four, five, and six, you're gonna get, well, the shits, to be honest. Um, the guys in the seminar were talking about day five, you're gonna go to the bathroom five times, day six, six times. But everyone I've spoken to has said on day seven, that heaven open scenario has happened where the clouds the clouds dissipate, the rainbows come out and you feel a thousand times better. Now, of course, just like anybody else, you can't stop this product in the moment you feel better. You have to do continue it for three more days. And that's because the bacteria, the firmicutes that are negative, they go dormant before they die and they will actually sprout eggs and then you need to kill off those eggs as well. And that happens in the last three to four days of, the, of taking the product in that acute phase. So guys, that's the product, that's how you do it. Um, you can modulate long-term with one scoop a day, but you're going to get the best results and I'm sure none of, none, none of you wanna waste your money. You have to take this product in, in a certain fashion and that's the way we do it. Guys, if you have any more questions, please pop in store. Um, I'm very, very confident I know a lot about this product, um, as does James over at ANC as well. We're probably the two uh, people to talk to about this product. So myself or James and ANC are gonna get the best results possible. Thanks guys, appreciate it.